Hello wonderful people here is Nicky Boyo once again I will welcome you back to our news digest this day the first day of October 2022 today is Saturday to be precise I just want to bring to you the update or should I say a reaffirmation of the updates as regard to Mazin Namdi Kano's court hearing that will be coming on the fourth day of October 2022. Onyendo Mazin Kano is not going to court on the fourth day of October 2022, being Tuesday next week, as being published and updated by Barrister Ifanye Jafo. And this is reaffirmed by the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB. For the purpose of clarification, the fundamental rights suits filed on behalf of Onyendo Mazin Namdi Khan or the Federal High Court Somoahi Abia State is scheduled for ruling on jurisdictional issues raised to a motu by the court on the 4th day of October 2022. Let the members of the general public be properly informed and appropriately guided that we have the firm instruction of Onyendo Mazin Namdi Khan to inform the public lovers of freedom and no muchineke that onyendo will not be coming to court on the fourth day of october 2022 as such onyendo neither directed approved nor authorized anyone to declare a seat at home on that day let me just pause it here it's making it a reaffirmation again because this has been stated before now an ipo leadership has equally said it Barrister Fanny Jofo is now restating it that Mazin Namdi Kano is not coming to court personally in no more here. And as such, there won't be any sit at home on that day. And of course, you know the way that IPOB leadership handled this. We are passing this information so that those who are just infiltrating IPOB, who are sitting somewhere and giving order randomly of sit at home, will not use this to, see, to deceive you. Just bear this in mind. On Barristage Fanya Jaffa went for the road and said, Although we have assured Omochineke that we shall inform you any time on Yendomazin Namdekan is scheduled to appear in court. It is to be noted too that Onyendomazin Namdekan has several suits pending against the federal government of Nigeria, her agencies and officials in various courts across the country. For instance, the men's suits challenging the extraordinary rendition of Onyendo Mazin Namdi Kano filed before the Federal High Court Abuja against the Federal Republic of Nigeria on a norm. In suit number FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 462 slash 2002 and the suit challenging the constitutionality or the wise of the uh, 2022 practice direction on the trial of um, terrorism offenses filed against the Chief Justice of the Federal High Court and Anor in suit number FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 550 slash 2020 are equally coming up for hearing next week before Honorable Justice Eku of Court number 5 Federal High Court Abuja. However, Kali notes that Onyendumazin Namdekanu still never approved nor authorized that on the said dates the, the, the members of the general public be directed to sit at home. I hope you understand this. In these instances where there will be various court appearance or court hearings next week, that same next week, that Onyendumazin Namdekanu himself will not be appearing in the court. And as such, there will be no seats at home. This order is being given and authorized by Mazin Namdi Khan, signed by Barrister Fanya Jofo, as well as the IPOB leadership have endorsed this, so that you will know where you are standing. And following that, we just want to bring you information as regard to the reply of the IPOB leadership, or should I say IPOP generally, to Atiku Abubakar, who have earlier a lay that if he been voted in as the president of the Zoological Republic, that he will stop the fragmentation within a twinkle of an eye. And as such, IPOB, the statement released by my powerful dispersion of um, IPOB, describes article statements as um, that he would put an end to the movement of Biafra if he was elected as the country's president in 2023 fourth coming general election as a laughable 
this is situation of course you have to understand whom article is uh, he has used so many um, strategies to promise so many people he has promised the Igbo extraction he has a calling now today he turned around to promise wiki that he will give him presidency in 2027 he had already promised uh, the Igbo people some of the global Igbo politicians when he came to Enugu, the day he promised that he is going to stop the affrontation, he promised those Igbo uh, politicians that he will give them presidency in 2027 as well. So where is Atiku going? Oh. IPOBC, that's Atiku Abubakar, is trying to use the number of um, Biafra agitation to cloud chase. He wants to use it to uh, forward his interest for the politics and campaign that is coming. So, and this is the issue. IPO before the advice article and his close allies to caution him to stop using Biafran agitation as a forefront of his presidential campaign. So, the statement read, the attention of the global family and the movement of the indigenous people of Biafra. IPOB was drawn to the statement credited to Atiku Abubakar at Enugu State who was ranting how he would stop the affrontation if he becomes the president in 2023. Uh, those the southeastern politicians around Atiku Abubakar should caution him to stop using the affrontation championed by our great leader Mazin Namdekano and IPO before his political campaigns. He and his politicians in the southeast should stop talking like um, people who don't understand anything and stop bragging about what is beyond their reach. Because Biafra extension and IPOB is beyond the reach of southeastern politicians as well as the entire eastern politicians, including Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abubakar and his political guns must know that we allow them to. Enugu State does not mean we do not know what to do to stop them from entering Enugu State ever again. As such, we are a civilized movement. We don't want to be used for corrupt election campaigns or we will be forced them to stop their campaign in our territories. Atiku Abubakar, you can do anything to please your global followers, but you cannot stop the affrontation champion by Mazen Nambikana and IPOB members worldwide. The only remedy to this current agitation is facing a date for Biafra referendum to ascertain where people of Biafra wish to stay. And unquote. This is what IPOB have replied Atiku Abubakar as well as their PDP political and the politicians in the eastern region as well as beyond in other parts of the Zoological Republic. On following that, in a different news, uh, as a flood in across Nigeria continues surging, it has started imposing a lot of challenges. About 14 farmers in Taraba State have died as a result of both accidents, many others missing. This is the situation. This is as a result of the flood that is going on across the Zoological Republic. The farmers were said to be trying to harvest their crops from flooded farmland when the incident happens. No fewer than 14 farmers have reportedly died in a boat mishap while many others are missing in Guantumo village in the Gaso local government area of Tarabaste. The farmers were said to be trying to harvest their crops from a flooded farmland when the incident happened. It was learned that the farmers who we are inside to have canoes paddling around to have their maize submerged by water when the canoes capsized and a result and as a result of heavy rainfall and a strong wind that was pushing ahead and the farmers who we are from different villages located close to river Bedouin, we are said to be picking maize in their farms on thursday which we are completely submerged by water a source who spoke where the newsman said there were about 50 farmers inside the canoes, adding that only 15 bodies were recovered while many were still missing. According to the source, the worst incidents involving farmers in the area, adding that out of the bodies recovered, two were of the same parents. This is situation. Meanwhile, the spokesperson of the Taraba Police Command, DSP Osman Abdullahi, said they we are yet to receive a report of the incident from the divisional officer in Gasol. This is the Nigerian government, Nigerian police. They say they themselves have not received any information. But this is what is going on in Taraba states. Not just in Taraba states alone. The flood in Nigeria now 
is ravaging various areas going uh, starting from the middle belt moving down to the northern part of the zoological republic where do we go from here this is the thing how will nigeria combat this as earlier now they have said that there is nothing they can do whatever that happened has, has happened that is the response of the government on following that is the issue of high level of insecurity that has been ravaging the zoological republic uh, this is a situation that is going on and in the northern part of the Zoological Republic. Government deleted community leader in Adamawa after collecting 2 million naira, uh, taking residents sent to deliver ransom to them. Uh, the group also took one Jerome Bengu, who went to deliver the demanded ransom of 2 million. Uh, this is what is going on at by the amount delivered to the group. That is the Fulani T group. The government reportedly deleted the village head and sent message to the family to come for his remains. According to the family and the report we received, we found his body at the full of Bagale Hills after his uh, doctors informed us about his whereabouts. A family member lamented. It was for the length that this Fulani T group initially demanded. 40 million ransom to release man but the family negotiated down to 2 million which was delivered by bengo a lecturer of the federal college of education yola however upon the receipt of these 2 million they reneged insisting that the agreed sum for the ransom was 15 million which was why they deleted and uh, taken bengo after the payment of two million was made you see these people are heartless this family managed to raise two million for them and yet they have to delete the village head and now they quality take bingo who went to deliver the ransom they quality collected the two million and <laughs> you are dealing with full anity group this is that this is what the fg wants and these are the things that is going on in the zoological republic wonderful people we thank you for listening we ask you to stay tuned as we continue bringing you more information as things develop in nigeria and other information that is regarding uh, biafran agitation and the movement for the indigenous people of biafra we say that it is in biafra land that all of us have our citizenship and until biafra is fully restored we will not rest may you remain safe and blessed wherever you may be